ensure prior to the surgical case that all the equipment for the case is needed and ready to go. To set up the device, place the locking mechanism onto the IV pole. Ensure that it is screwed tightly into place on the IV pole. Place the machine onto the locking mechanism, ensuring that it locks into place. You'll hear a click. Next, connect the main power cord to the power supply. Ensure that the pedal connector is locked into place by lining up the two red dots on the machine and the pedal connection. Then your system is ready. Open your FACO pack onto the surgical field. Ensure that the cassette is placed on the machine properly by looping the tubing into the two connection ports and placing the cassette into the lock position on the device. Ensure that the tubing at the bottom of the cassette is pulled and locked into place and the black clamp clamps the tubing down. Next, place the drainage bag onto the machine. Connect the tubing to the cassette. Next, hand off the spike tubing for the IV bag. The circulating nurse will spike the bottle and make the connection from the spike bottle to the irrigation line of the cassette. Ensure that during this process, sterility is maintained and no contamination occurs. Break the cap off the spike bottle tubing and connect the two together. Ensure that you fill the chamber of the spike tubing to the center portion of the chamber. Ensure that the valve is open for the fluid to run freely through the tubing. Open the plastic packaging from the FACO pack for single-use packs. Empty the contents of the pack. This will include the FACO tip, the test chamber, and the disposable wrench. Remove your FACO handpiece from your tray. Unscrew the safety tip of the FACO handpiece. Then place your single-use tip on the handpiece, ensuring that it is tightly secured. Use both thumbs to remove the wrench of the single-use tip. Ensure that your sleeve is dipped in BSS and wet before sliding the sleeve onto the handpiece. The ports for the surgical instruments are coated on the device both by color and by mechanical means. This makes it impossible to connect the instruments incorrectly. For the FACO handpieces, the color will indicate blue, for diathermy, the color will indicate red. Always hold plugs of surgical instruments by the sleeve. Insert the plug into the correct port on the device with the coating pin facing upwards, fitting a reusable tip to the FACO handpiece. To ensure proper fitting, pull the FACO key supplied over the reusable early tip. Applying slight axial pressure, screw the tip onto the FACO handpiece in a clockwise direction until it locks into the position on the handpiece. Wet the Ertley silicone irrigation sleeve with irrigation liquid to ease fitting. Screw the Ertley silicone irrigation sleeve over the tip onto the handpiece until the tip protrudes about one millimeter. For testing the FACO handpiece, ensure the test chamber is securely on the FACO handpiece. Ensure that the handpiece is in an upright position. The machine will automatically go into the FACO test mode. An indication of test OK will appear on the screen if everything runs according to the machines. Select the pre-op button. This will ensure that your irrigation line is flushed with fluid. The system will then be ready for use. If during the test function, a check tip indication appears on the display, simply remove the sleeve, grab the reusable wrench, and tighten the tip. After this process is done, you will need to put the sleeve back on the tip, reattach the test chamber, and go through the FACO test process again by simply clicking the test button on the display screen. Once the screen displays test OK, the system will be ready for use. To remove, simply unscrew and slide the sleeve off the tip. 
use the single-use disposable wrench to remove the tip from the FACO handpiece. After setting up the IA tube system, plug the irrigation tube and the aspiration tube into the IA handpiece. In case you use an IA tip with, an, with irrigation sleeve, mount the irrigation sleeve on the tip. Wet the selected tip with irrigation liquid to ease fitting. The lure connectors are designed to make incorrect connection of the instruments impossible. Fill IA tube system. Fitting the bimanual IA instrument. After setting up the IA tube system, plug the aspiration tube into the aspiration handpiece. Plug the irrigation tube into the irrigation handpiece. The lure connectors are designed to make incorrect connection of the instruments impossible. Connecting diathermy instruments. Insert the plug marked in red of the diathermy handpiece into the port marked in red on the device. Insert tip, whether it be the diathermy or the capsulotomy tip, into the handpiece. Both of these tips will lock into place the same way. Make sure that they are locked into position before proceeding. The same process will be used for the capsulotomy tip on the device. Ensure that the capsulotomy tip and the diathermy tip are soaked in BSS or sterile water after operation. Connecting instruments for anterior vitrectomy. Connect the tube marked in black to the lure port on the machine marked in black, turning it a quarter turn to the right. Connect the tube marked in green to the lure port marked in green on the device, turning it a quarter turn to the right. Connect the aspiration tube of the vitrectomy instrument to the aspiration tube of the tube system. Connect the irrigation tube to the irrigation handpiece. To change the parameters in any of the functions, press the plus or minus keys under the indicated parameter. This will remain the same in all functions from phaco to IA to diathermy to capsulotomy to vitrectomy. For phaco power, the values will be displayed from 0 to 100%. For flow, the values will be displayed from 0 to 50 milliliters per minute. For vacuum, the parameters will be displayed in 0 to 600 millimeters of mercury. To change the function, simply press the function key that you desire to use. In IA, the parameters will be displayed from 0 to 50 milliliters per minute in flow and 0 to 600 millimeters of mercury in vacuum. For diathermy, your parameters will be set from 0 to 100%. In capsulotomy, you will have a regular and high function. To obtain a small amount of BSS, depress the IRR key on the display. The valve will open and BSS will run through the line to stop, simply release. To set cortex mode, simply click the cortex mode button. 
the pedal settings can be configured in paraprogram mode individually for each surgeon. The vertical range of movements on the pedal is divided into three sections, from zero position to fully depressed. The horizontal range of movement on the pedal allows you to switch between functions and programs. To power down the device, simply place the power switch into the zero position. Remove the power cable. Remove the pedal connection cable. 